in the air. Nobody move. I just want to talk to Jamal. Hold up! Fancy meeting you here, of all places. You know, after our time with the Kurds, it was always my intention to find you. But then I've been, uh, busy. Of course, this isn't the face I would have chosen, but, uh, they were all out of Brad Pitt. Fingerprints were the worst. You see, I tried to have them removed. But the asset was uh, painful, very painful. And through it all, I thought of you. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue.
Jamal here wanted to cut it out. But then you and I have so much to talk about. You're gonna die for what you did to my men. <laughs> oh, very amusing, Mike. You don't mind me calling you amusing, do you? <laughs> but the fact is, you have 72 hours to live. Time enough to reflect and think about me as you get sicker and sicker then die. Seventy-two hours. It's been a pleasure. Hello, Mac. There is enough time that you will wish you are dead. <laughs> I once knew a man who had no nose, but he couldn't see how ugly he was because he had no eyes. <laughs> In 72 hours, you can be... missiles from striking at your heart. Demon from hell, you have 72 hours. Only 72 hours and you will remember me as you die. <laughs> You're a little unclear on the concept here, Jamal. It's about Sarkissian, remember? 72 hours! 
But we definitely want to hear all about your plans to make America grovel. <laughs> So Kizian was here. We gotta get you to a hospital. I know. In the meantime, Powers has to get us some intel in Western Canada. Sarkisian plans to launch a poison gas attack on the US. Payback for the Gulf War. Why Canada? Proximity. By the time we'd know about it, there'd be a missile in our lap. Jamal says a million people would die. Target is Seattle. <sighs> Seattle's where my daughter lives. Yeah, I'm Roy Brown. Can I do something for you? I heard you help people. I saw your ad. I'd like to hire your team. What's up? We got ourselves a gig, big man. Hunter and Roy are upstairs with the lady right now. Husband kidnapped a little girl after the court gave her custody. Why didn't you just call the cops? Hey, some rich Euro international business type. Took his little girl to Austria. All he cares about is business. The only reason he took Lily away from me was to punish me for leaving him. You don't leave Armand Berenger without being punished. Laura. This little guy with Derek is our associate, Mike McBride. Mike, Laura Berenger. How you doing? Hello. Her, uh, her ex, he pulled a little stunt. Derek gave me the headlines. Laura, do you have a photograph of your daughter? Yes, it's in the file. Oh, she's adorable. And that's her favorite, Teddy. What does she hear, about six? Six and a half. Oh, I love that age. They're so awkward. Do you have a daughter? Yeah, yeah. She's a teenager now. Hard to believe. She lives with her father. And you? Do you have any family? <laughs> well, I guess if you could call these characters family, yeah. yeah. I heard about the rescue you did for Shepard Oil when their CEO was held hostage. I know that you have expenses and travel. I don't have a lot of money. Lord knows I blew it all on lawyers' fees trying to get her back the right way, but... Laura, um, we'll work it out, huh? In the meantime, we don't want you worrying. Laura, what we need to do is go down and have you make a video for us, then you're done. It'll be a tough one, Mike. The guy lives in a fortress in the Alps. He's got armed guards, security system. Mike? I'm sorry, what? Hey. 
I hear Austria's beautiful this time of year. Our friend Armand's throwing a little shindig at his chalet. What do you say we do a little party crash? Smile for the camera and show our new neighbors how much you love your papa, okay? Do as you are told. You said mama might be here, but she's not here. She's too busy for us. Maybe she comes at Christmas. Now smile. I want to go home. This is your home now. Behave yourself. Now smile for the camera. have all the fun. Getting good pictures, right? Just beautiful. Make sure you get us a good shot of the landing platform and the placement of all the guards, all right? This is only for your company, the second day. <laughs> and I'm... Very glad you're here. Okay. Picked a hell of a time to lose your concentration. I'm sorry, partner. Yeah, hey, well, don't be sorry. Just be careful, huh? I said I'm sorry. 
Okay, okay. But it would behoove us to pay attention to the business at hand. to the chalet, madam. Champagne. One, two, three guards on the upper level. Hey, what do you know, man? I got a big party going on. I got to fix the mogul on your fitness, bro. And of course, I couldn't buy them all, <laughs> although I did think about it. <laughs> uh. Toast to the ladies. <sighs> How come the good ones are always married? Ah, he's not married. But you'll have to get in line, darling. <laughs> I thought he had a daughter. He does. Adorable. And I'm sure quite spoiled, too. But he's divorced. I don't see her here. She's probably in her room. There's her nanny. Excuse me. Roy, I found the nanny. <laughs> wow, that's a nanny. please. I have arranged a small surprise for you for this afternoon. Uh, I hope you'll find them entertaining. Come. Excuse me. Can I help you? You all right? Yeah. Come over here. Sit down. Thank you. Do you want me to bring you some ice for that? Uh, no, thanks. That's, I probably just had too much champagne. Listen, I'll just rest here a minute. Why don't you go on ahead? I'm sorry. This area is for family members only. I cannot let you stay. Okay. Help me up.
Hi, Lily. There's no time to explain now, but these people are my friends. Hi, Hi Lily. Lily. They're gonna bring you home to me, sweetie. So you go with them and don't be afraid. I love you, and I will see you soon. <sighs> Now we're going to go on a little adventure. I want you to change your clothes, okay? Okay. <laughs> Can see here. The voice Lily. Are you all right? Roy, what's going on with Hunter? She should be right behind me. Yo, Mike, tell me that static I'm hearing. Static hell. Somebody's getting their ass kicked. I'll go back and get Hunter. No. Take the kid to the tram. I'll take care of it. <laughs>
Das Kind, das Kind ist in Vorborn. Da raus, da raus. Schnell, komm, komm. schnell. Why do they even bother? Where can they go? the guards at the lower station. Tell them to put the tram on manual override so they can't stop it. We've got them. Still out of range.
Hey there. This little guy's been worried about you. Ready to go? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got a schedule to keep. taking her all over the world just to keep her away from me. I don't think he'll bother you again. Nah, he'll be staying in Europe. Kidnapping's a heavy-duty crime, even if it's your daughter. I don't have the words to say thank you. Well, I think you just did. Oh, you'd be a good girl. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Be good. Hey, every now and then, in between the corporate jobs and government gigs, it's nice to win one for the good guy, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's uh, classic good news, bad news. Bad news? No thanks, boss. Hey, you know I hate it when you call me boss. Why do you have to call me boss? We are partners. 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 All right. <laughs> anyway, look, what I was about to say was the lady paid us 25K to bring her daughter back. We did that. But between the travel to Europe and all the overhead here, Hey, we just about broke even, folks. You guys don't want to hear bad news? Okay. Just don't go blaming the messenger. Either we put this deal on a pay-in basis, or we go back to... Huh? Hey, where are you going? Don't just walk away. Every time I want to talk business, man, you just want to tune out. You're the businessman. Yeah, well, somebody's got to be. You're messing with me, man. <laughs> Hey, we're no longer in the military, folks. Just take a look at Derek's scraggly hair. That'll tell us everything. Scraggly? Hey, women dig it. I get my drinks half price. Boss. <laughs> yeah, all right. What'd you say, boss? Hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey. What I'm trying to say is we are civilians now. We have rent to pay now. We need medical insurance now. And I'll tell you what. Thinking about a pension plan wouldn't be a bad thing. Okay, we need a big payday. Can we enjoy bringing Lily home for a few minutes? Hey, I started enjoying as soon as we got Lily back on U.S. soil. Now I just want to pay the rent. Is that, is that okay? Roy. Roy. What's up? Look at this. Yeah, it's an old man want a poster. What about it? No. Look close and tell me you don't know who that is. At the eyes. Look at the eyes. Hell, I've been on a plane for ten hours, man. Just tell me what's on your mind. It's Sarkisian. No way, Mike. Come on. I don't think so. It says here the name's Reynolds. Small time. $15,000 bounty. Hardly seems worth it. Never mind. No. Wait a minute. That poster's been kicking around here for a couple months. I didn't recognize it either at first. Because there's nothing to see, Mike. But I've been waking up with this thing at night. I've been seeing his face, Roy. 
I knew there was a reason. Hey, man. Sarkissian is dead. Mike Dead is dead. Look at him. He's alive. No, you look at him. I mean, how could this be him? There's nothing about this guy that looks like him. Plastic surgery. Okay, so he stages his own death, makes himself up to look like this guy. He takes up with who? A known associate of Hamid Jamal. Jamal's a two-bit terrorist. Sarkissian was on a first-name basis with Saddam. There's no way this is him. Sarkissian is dead, and dead is dead, brother. We'll see. Hey, Mike. All right, hey. Look, I think we've all been on the road too long. Maybe we should go home, get some sleep, huh? Amen. Who is this guy, Sarkissian? He was a scientist, an arms dealer. Man behind the chemical weapons Saddam unleashed in the Gulf. Yeah, you can't get the Pentagon to talk about that stuff, but that stuff was bad news. Some team guys got really fried. Let me guess. Some of Mike's guys? Yeah. Yeah, it was rough. He still hadn't gotten over it. Mike? I don't want to talk about it. Roy told me what happened to your man. It was a hell of a deal. We're on a mission to rescue some UN observers. Roy and Derek's team had chased a company of Royal Guards into the wastelands, leaving my team clear to take the camp. My points were ahead to cut the barbed wire and to sweep for mines. I heard it before I saw it. A shell exploded above us. The flags were everywhere. It was like nothing we'd ever seen before. It was a cluster bomb, shooting out pods of gas. I managed to get my mask on in time, but my men were hung up on the wire. They just hung there, helpless. I've seen a lot of men die. Never like that. There was nothing you can do, Mike. There was something I could do, and I did it. I went after the man that made that poison, the death merchant. That's what they called Sarkisian. I was right behind him in Morocco. But then I found him at a Kurdish outpost. And I looked right into those eyes. Someone grabbed me from behind, ripped my mask off. My lungs were on fire. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't see. I'd have died if Roy hadn't been with me. I'd let the death merchant get away. It's not gonna happen twice. Must be right. Well, he did say they moved him again. It's probably his punishment for helping us out on Devil's Island. Well, maybe, but more likely it's because it drives everybody crazy. Yeah, but he gets us good free stuff on camera necklace, not to mention the occasional battleship. Well, but with powers, free is too big a price to pay. Yeah, let's try this way.
Excuse me? D7? Hey, come in, come in. I haven't seen you guys since I got you the mini sub. It's great to see you guys. It's great. It's just terrific. Give me a little squeeze. Hi, Abby. Great. Look. Yeah, hi. Let me help you with your It's really great to see you. Come on, come on. Good, great. Good. Good. Actually, I hope you guys can stay a while, huh? Mm-hmm. Nice digs. Yeah, hey. Andy. Very private. Well, they think they got me stuck in limbo. They think they can keep me out of the field. I mean, that's what they think. Defying your superiors is the road to greatness. But I am getting a little crazy behind this desk. But then on the other hand, I get everything first. I can read a license plate a continent away. If a terrorist uh, breaks wind in Bahrain, I can hear it. Hmm, lucky you. They set you up with some real first class electronics here. They? This place used to be a mental institution. I find it quite befitting that there's a tunnel directly to the Pentagon. But whenever they close an office, I help myself. I'm sort of the phantom of the building. Huh? They just don't know that I get everything first. I think I put Sarkisian up here. How's my... He's, uh, he's messed up. He's got ghosts. He... <laughs> this thing's haunting him, man. He, you know, he's got these instincts, but sometimes Mike, he gets things. Well, not this time. Sarkissian is dead. No question. Absolutely not. You got the picture of this uh, other guy, Reynolds? Yeah. You know the story? Sort of. Wow. Sarkissian fled Syria aboard a chemical ship. It hit a storm off of Crete. There was a fire and kaboom. Well, from what I understand, they didn't recover a body, right? <laughs> a chemical explosion of fire, sharks, tides. Angel, what's there left to find? General Santa Ana. You know, I figured it out. With two anti-tank guns and four frag grenades, David Crocker could have won the Alamo. Hmm. Same basic structure. Ethnic stock, same. Body type, same. Wow. But then I got a cousin Ralph who looks just like that. Andy, let's say you go to the plastic surgeon, you do the whole thing and you pull that off. What are the odds you can fake your own death? Hmm. Well, with all the world's intelligence agencies looking on, Nil, I mean, you've got to remember who this guy was. I mean, that gas that Mike took on in the Gulf? That madman tested them against civilian populations. Children in refugee camps. Half the world wanted his head on a platter. Thanks, Andy. Uh, too bad, though. This uh, Reynolds guy, uh, his reward is only, what, 15,000? But it would be a hell of a note if it was, Sarkisian. Hey, I'm just saying, listen, I'm just saying, okay? I I'm just saying that uh, if somehow the death merchant is alive, 
There's still a million dollar bounty on his head. Andy, where are you going? Oh, I'm going with you to talk to Mike. Oh, no thanks, Andy, really. <laughs> it's personal. No, no, really, hey, this is your lucky day. Really, you'll never even know I'm gone. Hi, finally. I've been looking for this place for 45 minutes. <laughs> Where's Mike, lost in the hall? <gasps> He's not with you? He's supposed to be with you. I think I know where he is. in the air. Nobody move. I just want to talk to Jamal. Hold up!
Count. Well, well, well. Fancy meeting you here. Of all places. You know, after our time with the Kurds, it was always my intention to find you. But then I've been, uh, busy. Of course, this isn't the face I would have chosen, but, uh, they were all out of Brad Pitt. Fingerprints were the worst. You see, I tried to have them removed. But the asset was, uh, painful. Very painful. And through it all, I thought of you. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue. Jamal here wanted to cut it out. But then you and I have so much to talk about. You're gonna die for what you did to my men. <laughs> oh, very amusing, Mike. You don't mind me calling you amusing, do you? <laughs> The fact is, you have 72 hours to live. <laughs> Time enough to reflect <laughs> and think about me as you get sicker and sicker, then die. <laughs> 72 hours. It's been a pleasure. Hello, Mac. There is enough time that you will wish you are dead. <laughs> I once knew a man who had no nose, but he couldn't see how ugly he was because he had no eyes. <laughs> in 72 hours, you can be in 72 pieces.
catch him. I've seen him do things. Mercy from Allah. I beg of you. Praise be to be merciful. Jamal had a lot to say. Arrogant Americans, come. You can make me talk, but you can't prevent our missiles from striking at your heart. Demon from hell, you have 72 hours. Only 72 hours, and you will remember me as you die. <laughs> You're a little unclear on the concept here, Jamal. It's about Sarkissian, remember? 72 hours! But we definitely want to hear all about your plans to make America grovel. Huh? You... <laughs> Sarkissian was here. We gotta get you to a hospital. I know. In the meantime, Powers has to get us some intel on Western Canada. Sarkisian plans to launch a poison gas attack on the U.S. Payback for the Gulf War. Why Canada? Proximity. By the time we'd know about it, there'd be a missile in our lap. Jamal says a million people would die. The target is Seattle. Seattle's where my daughter lives. until these people determine what's wrong with you. I know what's wrong with me. Yeah, and when did you get a medical degree, huh? Mike, you've got to let these people do their thing. Yeah, what are they going to do? You know where the answers are. I don't have one hell of a lot of time left. And I'm sure going to make it count. Are you with me? What do you think? Excuse me, Mr. McBride. You are not released from this hospital. Sorry, Doc. Thanks for all that stuff, but I got things to do. You have an unstable virus in your system. It will progressively weaken you, eventually kill you. Yeah, I know. I told you that. This is a race against the clock. We need time to formulate an antidote. That's the thing, Doc. We don't have time, and you're not going to find an antidote here now, are you? But if not here, where then? With the man who poisoned me in the first place. He's talking sense. You make a poison, you can unmake it. If you were handling that stuff, you damn sure have the antidote ready, wouldn't you? When we find him, we'll find it. Okay, everyone. Mike's got 26 hours left, so there's not much time. Listen up for the brief. We've turned the satellites on the coast from Seattle to Alaska. This is an area called Horseshoe Bay. It's the only place that jives with the information that Jamal gave us. So I magnified this portion. It looks like it was once a mining facility. If you ever wanted to manufacture chemical weapons, you couldn't pick a better place. It's far from any population center. There's only one road in and out. You also have access to a bay and a dock. Hey, I don't want to ruin your theory, Professor, but I worked in a mine back in Kentucky, and that looks like a working mine to me. There's a couple of things. Magnify this. Now, you see this worker here. He's carrying an M4A1 with an ACOG sight. No one working in a copper mine needs a weapon like that. Except maybe you, Derek. You know, I, I still think we should spread the word on this. We can't just keep it to ourselves. Who are you going to tell? You alert the authorities. You're bound to spook Sarkissian. But people need to be warned. You mean the people of Seattle? We can't panic an entire city on Jamal's word. We don't know all of what we're dealing with yet, Hunter. Mm -hmm. 
drive on. Well, one road in, one road out. So, Shadow Warriors, looks like we're gonna get wet. Here. If the tunnels are still open, if the fires didn't close them off, and if power's blueprints still mean anything. Well, we're gonna find out. You guys got about 12 minutes to full light, so it's not that I don't enjoy the pleasure of company, but. Hey, you just be careful. Huh? I don't wanna have to rescue some guys from distress. Hey, I'm up here. You're down there with the rats and stuff. You be careful. It's been under two hours now, Mike. We're clear outside. You never got through to your daughter, did you? No, Mike. Would have liked to hear her voice, though. Hey, that's what we're here for, right? H. Bet you're a good mother, you know? Yeah. Well, apparently not. Look what I do for a living.
come to the end of the line here. What do you think? You think you can make it? Well, we came this far. This was one all the rides. Let's do it. Come by here, real hot looking, kind of tall. No.
I've never seen you here before, but I've got a very good memory. He's a little bit busy right now, boss. All right, all right. Just relax, okay? I'm, I'm gonna reach in and get my security pass. Nice and easy. Okay. I'm sure this will prove to you who I am. You lock the door on me. You. You better start praying. What are you people waiting for? Get him! Kill him! Stay away from there. You don't know what you're dealing with. I'm a dead man, remember? Now I'm remembering buddies. Came home damaged. Children born with problems nobody wanted to see. If you don't have the answers to help them, I'm not letting you out of the box. You're not getting out of the box. <laughs> Have you looked in the mirror lately? You're sick. All right, we'll deal. But you'll do as I say. 
Oh, and please, no more sanctimonious talk about anyone else. You need the antidote for yourself. No. You need the antidote for you. Don't be a fool. I'm the only one that can help you. For God's sake! Close the window! Now, how long can you live without the antidote? We'll just see. Open the door!
covered. I'll get to Roy. You got it. Go. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling better already. <laughs> There's enough in here for you. And the formula to help all those who've been damaged. So back off. Hmm? You're not getting out of here. Yes, I am. This is my ticket. You're not going to risk this. <laughs> now for the last time, back off. and code systems, because I sure can't figure out how to stop this thing. This is six minutes and counting down. Can you disarm it? I don't know. Can't shut it down! Just keep trying, okay? Five minutes! What are you doing? We're about to lose it all. Unless we can get the payload out of the way. This thing's gonna launch. My bravado is only matched by my ultimate strategy. This missile's gonna have to go through me. 30 seconds. 
but do keep working at it. Clumsy me. Not to worry. I have something else for you. Something new. This will turn your blood to fire and turn your bones to stone. It guarantees a quick death. Of course, not so quick that I won't enjoy watching your agony. Yet, big man. Can we go home now? Ah, uh, you the man. People, I just got a thumbs up from Mike McBride. Let's go home.
I love the smell after a great battle. George S. Patton, renowned warrior. Well, I love a bath after a good battle. Hunter E. Wiley, a weary warrior. <laughs> Don't even have to ask. You look good. Thought you should do the honors? What's this? We wired the place, Mike. The lab, the mountain, everything. You can bury that poison forever. That's simple, huh? <laughs>